guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to The Bookworms, buddy. Today I have another Let's Talk Authors, and for this, for this one, I want to talk about Richard Lehman. Richard Lehman is, I know you've heard me talk about him before, but he's one of those, those authors that are on a scale. And the scale only has two choices. You love him or you hate him. And I happen to be one of those readers that loves his work. He's got like a dark humor and horror mixed together. Um, and he just, he's just a good writer, in my opinion. And a lot of people think he's a little bit too out there. And he may be out there, but he's on a level all by himself. And I just love his stuff. Um, unfortunately, Richard Lehman passed away in 2001. So there will be no more books of his to get. And with that being said, it makes his books hard to get. So I'm thankful for my used bookstore um, in Denton. They've got a, a, a pretty decent selection of Richard Lehman. I've read almost all of his books. I don't know how many more I have to get because he, he does have several books, several um, short stories, you know, short story collections and, and what have you. So I'm going to show you right now the Richard Lehman books that I do own. So let's take a look. Look, I'm going to try and get it so you guys can really see these. Um, we have Cuts, The Lake, which I read. Cuts I did not read. Darkness Tells Us, Red, Blood Games, Red, No Sanctuary, also Red, To Wake the Dead. I have not read that one yet. And then we got the series right here of books. This is the Beast House series. So we have The Cellar, The Beast House, Midnight Tour, and then I just found this one, Friday Night at the Beast House. And I'm really looking forward to reading that one since I haven't gotten to that one yet. And then Savage I have not read. This is on Jack the Ripper. Beware. Um, I haven't read that one yet. Among the Missing. Yes. Bite. Yes. And this one I have to say is one of the books that I didn't really like. In the Dark. Yes. Come Out Tonight. Yes. Another favorite. Island, yes, another favorite. Endless Night, I also read. Body Rides, this is another one of my, one of his best too, I think. I really enjoyed that one. Dark Mountain, um, again, one of my favorites. One Rainy Night, I just read this one actually, I think the end of the year. Um, and it was, it was pretty decent. Uh, Night in the Lonesome October. Um, this one I want to do a reread on. I didn't really appreciate the book as much as I should have, so I plan on doing um, this one as a reread. The Woods Are Dark, I just read, actually, the end of the year or January, one of those two days. I think it was the end of the year, or two months, sorry. I think it was December, though, that I read that one, and um, I did a video review on that, so I'll post that in the links below, because there was a lot of controversy behind that book, um, the way that it was published. And then The Traveling Vampire Show. Appreciate that cover. This is another of my favorites of Richard Lehman's. So that is all of his books. And like I said, they're really rare and they're hard to find. So, yeah, it takes some time to get them all. So there are his books. And I will um, also link in the description box um, a page, uh, a link to his to his website um, online so you can go check that out but you know if you like that kind of dark humor terror kind of stuff that's the best way I can describe what he writes um, check him out start with Dark Mountain it's a really good read so thanks guys for staying tuned to this episode of Let's Talk Authors and I'll see you in the next video bye